Hello friends, so we're back with Bugs, Bugs, and uh, we are going to read through it forward, and then we'll read through it backwards, and we'll stop and sing a few songs, okay? So, this is Bugs, Bugs, and I don't see the name of the author on this one. It says Creative Edge. Insects are amazing animals. Some are long, L-O-N-G, and thin, like this walking stick. And did you spot another bug on this page? Some are small and oval like a ladybug. Let's see who's next. Some insects live in large groups. Honeybees live in a hive. Look at those hexagonal holes in their hive. These, all of these holes are hexagons and they have six sides, all of them. And they all connect together to make their honey, honeycomb hive. Many ants build tunnels and live underground. Insects can change shape as they get older, like caterpillars become butterflies. They turn into butterflies. Do you see the colors on those butterfly and caterpillar? Which colors are the same and which ones are new colors? Yeah, yellow, black, and I see some blue on the butterfly that I don't see on the caterpillar. Beautiful, I wonder how it happens. Insects protect themselves. Rhinoceros beetle has many big weapons. What do you think they're talking about? What would he use as weapons? Maybe the reason he's called a rhinoceros beetle, right? And I see how many horns on that rhinoceros beetle. One, two, three. Can you make three horns? I wonder, it seems like that would be more like a triceratops, wouldn't it? I wonder if we could rename him a Triceratops beetle for clarity. For, I don't know. We'll have to ask the scientists. <laughs> All right. And this one says, don't mess with stink bug. It makes a very bad smell. Don't mess with that stink bug. If we step on a stink bug, it happened by accident one time to Lincoln. And ooh, it smells so stinky. And on his shoe, it was stinky. Yucky, yucky. Insects are all around us. Grasshoppers jump around the yard during the day, and fireflies blink at us at dusk. Night, night, little light. Which one is the grasshopper and which one is the firefly? Can you see? There's a grasshopper. Have you ever found one of those hopping around in the grass there? He's well camouflaged there. I can barely see him. And there's the firefly. It looks like here's where they glow down here on their tail. I wonder how their tail glows, how that bioluminescence happens. Yeah. All right, so let's go through it backwards and um, we're gonna turn the page this way this time. And we'll turn it back so we've got we've got firefly, grasshopper, stink bug, rhinoceros beetle. And here we go. Let's sing a song about a caterpillar and a butterfly. Are you ready? So we're gonna put our hands together and we're gonna make First, let's do this. Make our caterpillar with your finger. Ready? We're gonna make him go. There once was a caterpillar, caterpillar, caterpillar. Once was a caterpillar, changed one day. And now we're going to put our caterpillar inside of his cocoon, okay? We're inside your fingers on this hand. Wrap him up, okay? Wrap him all up really tight. And then 
What happens to that caterpillar when he comes out of his cocoon? It changed into a butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Changed into a butterfly and flew away. Okay, so you can make your hands flap like a butterfly and your caterpillar morphed to a butterfly, flying away. One of my favorite songs. All right, so let's turn the page again this way, this direction. Ooh, and we find some ants. You know what song I really like to sing whenever I see ants? We just had a picnic today and we did not invite them, but some ants showed up. Oh my goodness and we sang this song we sang the ants go marching one by one hurrah hurrah the ants go marching one by one hurrah hurrah the ants go marching one by one the little one stops to suck his thumb uh oh no and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain boom 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 the ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, the little one stops to tie his shoe. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah. Hurrah, the ants go marching three by three. The little one stops. <gasps> he climbs a tree. Can you climb your tree up and down? And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to shut the door. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. And you can go beyond that, but that's where I like to end because I shut the door. <laughs> Nobody else can come in. <laughs> all right. So there's our ants, and we can talk about why do they, why are we singing about them going underground to get out of the rain? Because that's where their home is, right? They made that little home in the ground. They're marching in a line, in a nice little line, just like my penguin class used to do, down into their little home. And then we've got right here in their hexagon hive, <laughs> the bees, honeybees. So we'll do a little bit of a finger play. Can you get your fingers ready? Okay, now we're gonna bring our fingers together and point them down and interlace them. So one, one finger interlaces into the other finger one at a time. And then you have your fingers pointing down, interlace, and then hide them, hide them inside your beehive. And now you've made your beehive, okay? And then sing with me. This is the beehive. Where are the bees? Where are they? Can you have somebody poke your beehive? <gasps> when they poke your beehive, oh, surprise them with the bees inside. Buzz, 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 buzz. And you can say, inside making honey. How many can you see? And let's count the bees. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bees inside making honey. Okay, let's do it again all together. Ready? So interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers. Okay, and then hide them in your beehive. Hide them inside. This is the beehive. Where are the bees? Poke. Inside making honey. How many can you see? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bees inside the beehive making honey. But if you poke the beehive, buzz, they come out and they get angry and scared. Woo! <laughs> That's fun. 
okay? So bees like to be inside their hive. That's where the queen is, that's where they make honey, that's where the worker bees deliver their pollen. They like to be inside their hive, right? Yeah. And here's a ladybug on this page. I have one more song for you today, and that's the ladybug song. So we're gonna make our little ladybug on the tip top of your finger. We can imagine a little ladybug landed right on your finger. Ready? Ladybug, ladybug, red and black. I see circles on your back. Ladybug, ladybug, fly up high. Fly down safely from the sky. Rest on my hand. I'll count your spots. Two, four, six, eight polka dots. So in that one, we count by twos. So we're gonna skip all the odd numbers. So we don't say one, two, four, six, eight, right? Okay, so let's do it again all together. And this time we're gonna point to our back when we say black, uh, back, okay? And we're gonna have our little ladybug here. Ladybug, ladybug, red and black. I see circles on your back. Ladybug, ladybug, fly up high. Fly down safely from the sky. Rest on my hand, I'll count your spots. Two, four, six, eight polka dots. Yay! So let's look at these little ladybugs. Maybe we can count one of their spots if we get it up really close, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that one happened to have eight. I promise I did not plan that actually. <laughs> uh, and these probably have a different number. And if I were in my class, I would let friends come up and have a chance to count them. But maybe you can see it well enough at home that you can count the spots on those ladybugs at home by yourself. Okay, and this walking stick is always super fun. I love those walking sticks and they're super hard to spot. So if you spotted a walking stick, congratulations. You are a pet detective, an insect detective. All right, well, thank you for joining me for Bugs Bugs and um, I'll see you next time for story time.